getting started was defining your target audience. Um, so this isn't just your ideal customer, but also what you're looking to achieve from social media. So um, everything that we do on social is going to be intentional and there's a reason why we're doing it. Um, for me, as far as like my, my goal with social, we want to provide value for consumers. So when they look, um, you know, me or our team up, they see that we have real estate and market knowledge um, and that we you know, know what we're doing, right? Um, as far, I also want people to um, get to know me as a person and my personality. Um, in addition to that, I also want to connect with referral partners across the country to be their go-to person for Houston real estate. So we do things that are, you know, property and real estate related, but then also kind of real estate um, industry related as well. So that may or may not be something that you're trying to do, um, but it's important, again, to define your target audience. Um, I think one of the things is, you know, I'm sure everyone's heard this before, but you can't be for everyone. Um, I think the saying something like, um, you know, if you try to be all things to all people, then you won't be anything to anybody. Um, so it's really important, again, to define your target audience. Um, and then the content that you're putting out is directed toward those people. Um, there's going to be people out there that don't like it, and that's completely fine. Um, I think that that you know, it'd be it'd be great if everyone that contacts you based on you know what they're seeing about you online or the type of people that you want to work with and the, the type of people you get along with. Um, so that's why you know we do put in some other lifestyle stuff and personal things in there as well. Um, you know, on our Instagram and on our social. Um, but that's a way bigger topic that I um, you know could dig into way deeper.